Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a very special Heyday Play for Trees video. This one's a little bit different than what I usually do. It's more about the information behind this actual goal that we've got to do and why we're doing it. Now, as you know, from December the 16th to December the 21st, we have a goal in the game to revive 100 million trees and bushes. Now, most of you out there, you love playing Heyday, and you're wondering, why am I doing this? What is the reasoning behind it? Well, there's actually two aspects to it. Number one is this gorgeous tree decoration, which I really do like. If we achieve the goal, we get this. But the decoration is not important, and I can't believe I'm saying this because I love deco. What's more important is the main part of this which is the protecting of one million trees in the environment. So, how is Heyday going to do this? Well, they're partnering with a company called Compensate. And through this actual partnership, they're going to be purchasing carbon credits. And they will purchase enough carbon credits to protect one million trees. Now, one carbon credit is an equivalent of a thousand kilograms of carbon dioxide. Now, for us as human beings, we actually do a lot of activities that create what we call a carbon footprint uh, and increase the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Now, this project's actually being funded in a way to actually remove some of the carbon dioxide that we are generating through direct, indirect or other activities. So as an example, if you get in your car, if you take the train, if you heat up your house, maybe cool it down, if you buy new clothing, if you buy food from the supermarket or from some kind of restaurant, there's some kind of carbon element to it that's being released into the atmosphere, thus creating our personal carbon footprints. Now, what we can do is to reduce that carbon footprint by doing some activities. And there are quite a few things out there. So if you go and check it on the internet, you can find out a lot more examples. Now, these are some of my favorite ones. Maybe using less electricity. So, less heyday playing. Hey, I didn't want to say that one but yes electricity is the key thing here different ways of traveling so i tend not to drive i use a bicycle i walk food and drink choices no more burgers for me it's now veggies uh, recycling reusing i do this consumption changes planting trees and even plants now i think buying plants for your home is very important but trees are also important uh, because they are a part of this like carbon cycle what trees do during the daytime hours is to absorb or take that carbon dioxide and then they basically use it to mature, to grow, to become bigger. But as a byproduct of this process, they actually release oxygen into the actual atmosphere as well, which we need for breathing. Uh, so it's good for us. Now, at nighttime, they actually do produce carbon dioxide as well. So some of you are saying, like, why do we need to plant trees? Why do we need to maintain trees? What is the reasoning behind it? Well, every time you chop down a tree, you're breaking this cycle or this system. So if we can maintain the trees, if we can do sustainable activities, we're actually making it easier for us to have a better planet. Now, okay, well, if I chop down a tree, I can just replace a tree, or as some countries do, chop down one, replace it with six trees. Now, this is good, but at the end of the day, a fully mature tree is way better than a brand new tree because a fully mature tree is more efficient. It's bigger. It has taller trunks, wider trunks. It has a better carbon storage because they store more than they do release at night. Now, the location that this project is actually underway is in Africa. It's in a place called Lake Kariba, which is beautiful. You've already seen a video on this. It's about 223 kilometers long, and it borders Zambia and Zimbabwe. Uh, the people that live there, the people that work there, the people that are protecting nature as part of the projects that we are getting involved in are doing a wonderful job, and they do need our support. And through Compensate and Heyday, uh, and the purchase of these carbon credits, we can actually do a lot more for our planet and the environment. I'm going to be releasing more information on exactly what they're doing in another video, but this is to give you a bit of background in relation to what is the carbon dioxide, why are trees so important, and why uh, you should be doing this event. Now, make sure you do subscribe to my channel for the rest of the videos that relate to this playlist and to this activity. Uh, like I said, it's 100 million trees and bushes, and if we do, 1 million trees is the target, and I like that one. 
Deco's lovely, I love it, but that's not important. The trees are what's important. So let's do this together, everybody. Let's organize our farms, get rid of all the deco, plant your trees and bushes, revive them during this time span that we've got, and let's achieve the goal. We can do this. I've got confidence in you, and I will see you in game with my 1,500 trees and bushes I've got for you. Either way, take care, and much love as usual.